because St. Luke's has everything. The Filipinos deserve also such innovation. Itong robotic uh, assisted kidney transplant, dito nag-start sa atin sa St. Luke's Global. Less pain, less invasive. Robotic has the advantage. We are the first in the Philippines and first in Southeast Asia. I'm uh, Ronald Anthony Silva Falier. I'm a transplant and vascular surgeon. I'm affiliated with St. Luke's Medical Center, Global City, and Quezon City. I've been doing robotic surgery since uh, 2023, so two years. So I, before I used to do open surgery, but now uh, with the involvement of minimally invasive surgery, we ventured into Robotic. Um, I'm Dr. Cesar E. Casanova Jr. I'm a practicing kidney transplant surgeon for 25 years and have recently been doing a robotic assisted kidney transplant here in St. Luke's Medical Center, Global City. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Martin Anthony Villa. I'm a transplant surgeon as well as a vascular and endovascular surgeon. Uh, I practice at St. Luke's Medical Center, BGC, as well as St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City. I'm Maria Amorneta Jordan Casupang. I'm a transplant and hepatobiliary surgeon. I work at St. Luke's both in Quezon City and here in BGC. We call it robotic assisted kidney transplant. Kasi dependent, the robot still dependent on the movement of the surgeon. It's just that separate yung robot doon sa console ng kung nasaan yung surgeon. But assisted kidney transplant, it's still your doctor. It's still the doctor, it's still the surgeon doing the decision. It's just that there's a robot, there's a robotic arm beside the patient, but it's still controlled by the surgeon in the console. So with using the robotic arms, you have finer movements, you have precision, and you, you even have a better vision of everything. Uh, historically, the robotic assisted kidney transplant was basically uh, designed for patients with uh, high BMI, uh, the obese patients. So the advantage again primarily is of obese patients, if they do open surgery, we have to make big incisions. So with robotics, uh, we do small incisions, uh, we call it a keyhole surgery. Uh, it's a minimally invasive surgery, so it means smaller scars, faster recovery, and it utilizes the robotic technology now. Robotic assisted kidney transplant kasi it falls under minimally invasive. Sa term implies minimally invasive, so talagang very little tissues talaga, as much as we can uh, nagagalaw. So one big thing is yung so skin incision. Since ang ipapasok mo na lang are the robotic sticks na hawak ng robotic arm, maliliit na lang siya. Since it's a minimally invasive surgery, the primary advantage of robotic surgery is that it has less pain. Patients recover faster. They can be discharged earlier. Less hospitalization, uh, less uh, expenses. And of course, most importantly, uh, less um, complication rates. Traditional open kidney transplant entails a huge incision, probably about six inches or more. Uh, so you can imagine when you make that incision for the kidney to go in, you will be transecting the muscles. Robotic surgery being fairly new, probably about 20 years, about 20 years. Um, it is a minimally invasive surgery, so we use the robotic technology which needs to go through small incision to insert the devices. Okay? So you're able to put and connect the kidney to the patient, the recipient, by small incisions now. So if you have a smaller incision, you have less muscle, muscle transected and therefore uh, recovery is faster. Uh, yes, they go back to their normal routine early, early on. The, what, that's what they say nga na parang um, in their terms, Doktora, parang hindi ako na-operahan. Because um, usually, um, patients have bigger scars, so they tend to lie down more often. They get more pain reliever, so minsan they get dizzy with the pain reliever. So, so yung back to regular lifestyle is a little longer versus the robotic, as if, as if it did happen. Sabi nga namin before, 
because the incisions are large, you look at the patient, you know which side, which side the transplant is done, whether left or right. Now, right now with robotic surgery, with the incisions, you you no longer can tell which side. So, so that itself is already an impact for the patients. And then proud sila na oh, we are one of the first few who really had that that kind of innovation here delivered in the country. We are the pioneers of a robotic assisted kidney transplant in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia because uh, in several meetings that we have, we ask uh, our friends from nearby countries, they are just about to start their program so we can claim that yes, we are the first in the Philippines and first in Southeast Asia. Robotic uh, assisted kidney transplant. Dito nag start sa atin sa Saint Luke's Global. The surgical team dito palang nito sa Saint Luke's Global. We were already toying with the idea of starting a robotic transplant even before pandemic. So we were already planning on how to go about it. But then again, pandemic happened, so it had to take a backseat. So it's only after that that we were able to get the expertise, we were able to get the training. The Filipinos deserve also such innovations. They need, we, so we decided to bring it here for them through St. Luke's. For those asking about robotic kidney transplants, because uh, I know it's uh, just a new thing that na we dito here in the Philippines, it's being done abroad for a very, very long time. So it's just that uh, late lang natin siya na karon ng ng opportunity na may group of people devoted their time to study the technique. We have a program, a very successful program, uh, I must say, uh, yung sa St. Luke's. Uh, we, we've done several and all of them are successful transplants. Because the experts of kidney transplantation are here. Plus, to really back up that claim, we have just recently garnered the award of the JCIA Gold Seal of Excellence. Um, St. Luke's Medical Center is the pioneer in uh, robotic assisted kidney transplant. It started at St. Luke's. The technology is here already in St. Luke's. The people who does it are also here in St. Luke's already. So this is the best place to go to if you want robotics. Here at St. Luke's Medical Center, make sure the surgeons will perform your surgery is competent enough, experienced enough. Uh, so St. Luke's. Uh, we have you. Uh, we'll make it sure that uh, it's safe for you. Nikay magsisisi that you chose robotic assisted kidney kidney transplantation here at St. Luke's Global City. As we close this conversation, I'm reminded of just how precious life truly is. Every heartbeat, every breath, it's a gift. Here at St. Luke's, we're not just embracing the future of medicine. We're choosing hope, precision, and a better quality of life through robotic surgery for kidney transplant. It's not just about the technology. It's about the people behind it, the lives it saves, and the second chances it gives. And may we all continue to make choices that honor the gift of life. So when it comes to your health, your future, or your loved ones, make the choice that puts you first. Choose excellence. Choose compassion. Choose St. Luke's Medical Center.